Caillou at the market. Good morning, Sleepy. But Caillou does not want to get out of bed. Look, it's snowing. Caillou runs to look out the window. Wow! Can we make a snowman? Let's get dressed first, then we'll see. Caillou tries to pour his cereal, but nothing comes out. There's no cereal. We'll get some at the market. We have to shop for things to make a special surprise cake. A cake? Yay! Caillou puts on his coat and boots. He picked up Gilbert to see if he'd like to come to the market as well. Gilbert, where are you going? Silly cat. Outside, the snowflakes tickle his face. He sticks out his tongue and catches some of them. Can we make a snowman? Yes, Caillou, but we have to go to the market first. When they get to the market, Mommy puts Rosie in the seat of the grocery cart. I want to ride in the cart too, Mommy. Let's go. We have lots of shopping to do. Caillou and Rosie help Mommy find the things she needs. Caillou takes a bag of cookies off the shelf. These are good. We're having special surprise cake. So we don't need cookies, too. Mm. Caillou really wants the cookies, but he puts them back. At the checkout counter, Mommy helps Caillou and Rosie get out of the cart. Caillou, please help watch Rosie for me. Caillou holds Rosie's hand. But he's thinking about the cookies. Mm. He lets go of Rosie's hand to go and find the cookies. Caillou? Caillou goes up and down the aisles looking for the cookies. Suddenly he stops and looks around. He can't see Mommy. Mommy, where are you? Mommy? There she is. Mommy looks worried. What happened, Caillou? You went away. No, you went away. She gives him a big hug. I'm very glad we found you. Let's go home. Mommy, I was lost. I know, Caillou, but you're home now, and it's time to make the special surprise cake. But I want to make a snowman. We will make a snowman here in the kitchen. Mommy bakes a cake and covers it in snowy white icing. Caillou and Rosie decorate it with candy. <laughs> the special surprise cake is a special surprise snowman! Even though it was early in the morning, Caillou's house was already buzzing with activity. Today was Thanksgiving Day, and his mommy and daddy were busy getting ready to make a very big feast. 
Caillou knew that Thanksgiving was a special day, but he wasn't exactly sure what it was all about. Mommy, why do we celebrate Thanksgiving? What makes today so special? Well, Caillou, it all started a very long time ago, when America was just beginning as a new nation. It was a time when people came together to give thanks for a plentiful harvest. A what? What does a plentiful harvest mean, Mommy? Well, I think if you go and give your daddy a hand in the garden, he might be able to help you understand. Caillou's mommy and daddy had a vegetable patch in their backyard. Caillou had spent a lot of time helping his daddy water the plants over the hot summer, but he didn't really understand what the garden had to do with Thanksgiving. Hi, Daddy. I was asking Mommy about the meaning of Thanksgiving, and she said something about being thankful and a plentiful harvest. What does that mean exactly? Well, see that basket full of pumpkins, Caillou? Yes. Well, that is a plentiful harvest. It means that we have grown more pumpkins than we can eat ourselves. So rather than let them go to waste, it's better to share them. Oh, I see. So Thanksgiving is about sharing what we have with others? Yes, and if everyone brings something to share, then we will all have more than enough. Wow, that is a great idea. You're right, Caillou. And having what we need and enough to share is something to be very thankful for, don't you think? I think you're right, Daddy. Over the course of the afternoon, all of Caillou's friends came over with something to share, and everyone had a big feast. As the end of the meal drew near, Caillou remembered a song that he had heard at Playgroup that week. Hey everybody, can I teach you a Thanksgiving song? Kids at home, do you want to sing too? Yay, let's sing! Alright, sing along with me and my friends. It's called the Thankful Song, and this is how it goes. Thanksgiving is a time to share, to give thanks and show you care. With family and friends all there, Thanksgiving can happen anywhere. Thanksgiving can happen anywhere. Yeah, that was really something, Caillou. Come on, let's all sing it together. You too, kids. Thanksgiving is a time to share, to give thanks and show you care. With family and friends all there, Thanksgiving can happen anywhere. Thanksgiving can happen anywhere. And now for the really fun part. This part of the song is all about what we are each thankful for, and it goes something like this. Break it down, DJ. One, two, three, four. Tell me what you're thankful for. Five, six, seven, eight. Name some things that make life great. I'm thankful for my house, my family, my toys. I love my awesome treehouse, my cat's purring noise. My friends are super awesome, they have such big kind hearts. But now I think it's time for someone else to start. Go Leo, go Leo, go, go, go Leo. One, two, three, four, tell me what you're thankful for. Five, six, seven, eight, name some things that make life great. I'm not much of a rapper, but for this, I'll give it a shot. I'm thankful for my family and anything else I forgot. 
I really love suspenders and the color yellow, but now I think it's time for Clementine to say hello. Go Clem, go Clem, go, go, go Clem. One, two, three, four, tell me what you're thankful for. Five, six, seven, eight, name some things that make life great. Being thankful is contagious. That means that you can catch it by spending time with friends who are thankfully legit. Surround yourself with people who are grateful for their blessings and watch your life become the best. And I'm not messing. One, two, three, four. Tell me what you're thankful for. Five, six, seven, eight. Name some things that make life great. So happy Thanksgiving. We hope your day is great and that you eat your dinner and finish your plate. Hug the ones you love and all of those who care as you spread a simple message. Be thankful and share. Caillou was staring out the front window of his home. It had been raining for the whole morning, and he was starting to get very frustrated. All Caillou wanted to do was go outside to run and play, but it seemed the weather was determined to try to ruin Caillou's day. Already this morning, he and Rosie had played hide and seek, Made a picnic out of Play-Doh. Had a living room dance party. Watched some very funny cartoons. Helped Mommy with some chores around the house. was beginning to worry that they would run out of things to do. At lunchtime, he decided to speak to his mommy about his worry. Mommy, what are we going to do this afternoon? I feel like we've already done everything that we can do inside the house, and it's still raining outside. I'm worried that while Rosie has her nap, there will be nothing left for me to do. Don't worry, Caillou. I promise you that everything will work out just fine. You are so lucky to have so many toys to play with, and I'm sure that you will think of something to do. Don't forget, sometimes you just have to use your imagination. Hmm, okay, Mommy. I will do my best. After lunch, Caillou gave Rosie a night-night kiss and made his way into the living room to play. It was quiet downstairs, and he wasn't quite sure what he wanted to do. All he could hear is the tink, tink, tink of the rain outside. But then he noticed his spaceship and suddenly had a great idea. Mommy, is it okay if I move some of the chairs in the living room? Sure, Caillou, just be careful. I will be. Thanks, Mommy. finished arranging the chairs in a circle around him, he heard a knock, knock, knock at the front door. Caillou knew that it was a grown-up's job to open the front door, but he ran and had a sneaky peek through the letterbox to see who it was. He could not believe his eyes. Hi, Leo and Clementine. How are you two doing today? 
Hi guys, I'm so happy to see you. What a super surprise. This weather is sure the pits, isn't it? I don't know about you, but I was going a little stir crazy at home until my mommy said that I'd been invited over here. Me too. I don't think it's ever gonna stop raining. Speaking of rain, why don't you two come inside before you get soaked through? That is a great idea. <laughs> As Leo and Clementine stepped inside, Caillou noticed that they had each brought something with them. What's that, Clementine? Oh yeah, this is a big bed sheet. Your mommy said that she thought we might need it this afternoon for our travels. Our travels? Hmm, interesting. And you, Leo, what did you bring? This is my supercharged rocket launching remote control. Please be careful though, it's very powerful and only licensed astronauts are able to operate it. Kakayu looked at his mommy, amazed. How did she know that he had arranged the chairs that way in the living room in order to build a spaceship? He might only be four years old, but he knew one thing for sure, mommies are very smart. He gave her a big hug. Okay guys, let's get going. We have a lot to do this afternoon, but first we have to build a rocket ship. Caillou, Clementine, and Leo made sure that the chairs were positioned perfectly, and then they all worked together to stretch Clementine's sheet across the top of the chairs. They tucked the sheet in tight underneath all the chairs to make sure their rocket ship was airtight. And Mommy even helped them to cut a hole in the top so that they could see the stars as their rocket blasted into space. Wow, look at how incredible our spaceship is, guys. We did it. We built a spaceship. I think this is looking spectacular. As captain of this vessel, I would like to award each of you the title of Lieutenant Astronaut. There you go. There is no one else I would rather fly with. Thanks, Captain Leo. Should we do some last minute checks to make sure we have everything we need? Excellent idea, Lieutenant Clementine. Where is the checklist? It's here, Captain Leo. Okay, spaceship, check, check. Rocket fuel, check, check. Food and other space provisions, check, check. Maps of our galaxy and outer space, check, check. Supercharged rocket launching remote control, check, check. Well, that's it. This mission is all go and ready to launch. All aboard, astronauts. Leo, Clementine, and Caillou crawled into their spaceship and prepared to take off. None of them had ever been to space before, but they hoped it would be much better in outer space than the rainy day they were having on Earth. Okay, astronauts, counting down to blast off in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.